180 feet wide by 200 and some feet long. It's just the biggest chuck hole you'll ever see. Chunks of concrete sent flying from the Oroville Dam spillway moments after dam operators released more water from the lake. Now tonight the spillway has been shut down and the lake level continues to rise. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. The Oroville Dam is located along the Feather River in Butte County. It is the tallest dam in the country. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Butte County tonight with how operators will handle water releases during the investigation. Steve? And tonight, the Department of Water Resources is trying to calm fears, saying there is no danger despite that dramatic video showing the spillway eroding. Um, this is not normal. As concrete broke off the spillway, the water gushing from the open gates of the Orville Dam sent the giant chunks flying some 40 feet in the air. A big cement just blew off, worse, and it's too. getting worse. This is what was left a gaping hole 180 feet wide. 30 feet deep, forcing the Department of Water Resources to close the Orville Dam gates for now, even as water continues rising in the reservoir. The most important thing to say about this problem we're having with the spillway is that the dam itself is not endangered. Teams of engineers are only starting to investigate what went wrong. Maybe it was you know a soft spot under the spillway that wasn't known about. That could have been a, a pocket of, of uh, material that you know they, they didn't know about in that area. The dam will not be open for at least several days while engineers inspect the spillway. As water continues to pour into the reservoir, small releases are being made through a power plant. If the levels reach near capacity, state regulators say they will open the dam again over the damaged spillway to avoid the reservoir overflowing. It'll probably take out more concrete, but that's a better option than actually allowing the dam to become too full. Up oh, there goes some cement. Gary Elise and Beth Bello shot the video showing the spillway failure while they were on a hike nearby. We noticed a lot of water shooting up in the air where it shouldn't be. And so as we got closer, we saw there was definitely a real problem. Powerful pictures of a spillway structure failure that's left state engineers working on what will be a big fix. Now, since the gates closed at noon today, the reservoir level has risen by six feet. So tonight, the state conceding they may be forced to release some water through that damaged spillway as more storms arrive. All right, they've got a real challenge there, Steve. Thanks so much. Live for us tonight in Butte County.